Hey guys, people, men, women. Um, I just made some little triggers for my L7 type traps. And basically, um, this is, I'm gonna put a few of these in there in my uh, pack. And uh, use them for fishing, basically. You can put snares on them too. And these are small, be more for fishing. Um, and then this is just a, an example of a stake because I'm testing my, uh, let's see that it fits in there. So when the string pulls, that's it. So I'll probably use number 18 bank line, 36 bank line or whatever, whatever you got you can use. And then at the end, I suggest that you use something very fine, especially if a small fish or trout or something like that. There's a loop in there and you can tie it to the end of whatever you're fishing for. Make it easy, you probably catch more fish. And uh, also, I cut down a holly bush, holly tree, holly bush. Uh, we're still, part of it'll grow back, but, uh, and uh, it's very hard wood. Um, I saved some of it because it's very heavy. Very heavy, so I use it as a, like a baton, even though I, I do have a, uh, mallet that I made. Pretty good for that. I don't know about for spoons. I figured I'd do something different. I'd, I'd prepare some of these triggers. And these are, you know, you can tweak them any way you want. And there's little notches in the side so your string can tie up to your, your branch that springs up. Basically, when this goes, it's going to go up like this. Pull the string and hook your fish. Theoretically. But, um, yeah, you don't have to watch it. But um, do I want to carry something like this in my pack? Not really. You can make it when you go out in the field. These, yes, because they're they're ready made. I don't want to cut pieces of string. You you carry cordage with you, and you can use that cordage to make uh, your fish trap, basically. But yeah, all these work pretty good. Fine tune them a little bit so that they they fit nice on there so and uh, I suggest that you use uh, I, I got some of these pieces like this kind of small right here when when you're working on these use a longer piece of wood it's easier to make your cuts so we'll do that a little bit right now but uh, again this is kind of small the stake right here but I was just doing it for my triggers here and I can tweak these when I get in the field with, it, with whatever steak I got. You can use a, uh, a twig sticking to the ground and use that as a spring or you can hook up to a tree and you could do snares but I'm not going to use it as a snare. I, I have done trapping basically with conner bears and lake hole. It was a long time ago. I'm pretty good at it but um, I'm not going to do that but that's what we're going to do. And uh, just on a note, remember um, Bill Melton. Bill Melton passed away. Nice guy, very generous guy. Um, and uh, there's a tribute by uh, this one, like Ali Carroll, I think. She's a great tribute to him. But uh, just remember him. And hopefully we'll see him again. So we will. But, yeah, so I'm going to mess with this a little bit. These are already made. Make some more. Throw them in the pack. So let's get going here. Pole or whatever you got. These triggers are pretty good. So I'm going to put maybe a couple in each pack. These are a little, a little stronger. I'm going to take the bark off of these. So I just want to do basic stuff. Showing you what I'm doing. Um. Give my armor a, a rest because I mean, I've been making a lot of spoons. But uh, let me just show you in a second. But uh, yeah, your arm gets sore. Keep making, swinging that hatchet every day. But uh, this will dry it out a lot better. But that's just a basic idea, you know. Got the notches here. Boom, you're good. But got a lot of holly here. 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a bunch of these, and um, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you some spoons that I'm working on. I just made uh, some cedar spatula spoons on uh, basically wood that I put aside. I said not gonna make anything out of it. I looked at it again. I said oh, I could probably make something out of it. So so what you can see here is made out of scrap wood, and there's one nice apple there. And and that's scrap wood too, uh, not even the ones that I picked and saved for making things. So, you know, you just keep looking at it and say, you can make something, man, you know. But, uh, yeah. So nothing fancy. And just remember, if you're you're making your your line, if you got monofilament and a nice little hook on the end where it's clear, you could, it'd be better to catch the fish like that. It's like if you're fly fishing, you know, you got to tip it on the end, you know, so. But uh, you can get some nice bluegills or something, you know. But uh, that's what I'm doing. I just had some stuff there and I'll do the holly. But the green holly, it seemed like you saw how it blew out a little bit. Uh, just go easy with it and then um, let it dry out. And uh, the other ones were already seasoned pieces of wood, so that'd be fine. But uh, I gotta find my 36 and 18 bank line. I got a ton of it. But uh, but that's what we're doing here. So about 50 degrees, no, it's about 55 outside. It was raining, kind of a nasty day. But uh, off, I have a small trigger. This will go to my spring or branch and uh, then it'll go into the water. But uh, yeah, it's a little better now. Fits in there a little better. Yeah, I could tweak that, but um, I'm sorry, that will work. And uh, it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, in the side here, just a couple notches here. Try to keep the knife away from me. I've doing all my spoons and everything. I've always cut myself many times, but get a little better at it without killing myself. These knives are sharp. I really don't like teaching kids this stuff sometimes unless they know they're older or whatever, because um, they make a mistake. You're, you're, I mean, they're in trouble. You are too, <laughs> but. Uh, Oh no, I'll sit here. Did I do? Oh yeah, okay. Get disoriented here. Yeah, you just want a little notch here. And you can tweak this when you go out in the field, however you want, depending on the line that you got. And you can use natural cordage to, uh, to do stuff too. So. so now I'm just gonna, this will fly a little bit. <laughs> But turn this up. Oops, I don't know what I did there. There we go. So now we get a nice holly, and you can clean this up if you want up here. You get a nice holly trigger right here, and this will get strong. This will get strong. Let it dry out. Little notches here. You could tweak all these notches. You're gonna put your string around here, but uh, and we'll do another video and set this up where there's a lot of little fish and hopefully we'll catch them. And again, you want to use the at the end use like a monofilament line, little hook. I keep these in my packs. A lot of my packs is like a little survival thing, even a little trout because it's so delicate. But uh, that's what you want to do. So that's what I'm doing here, and I, I showed you the spoons. I'm gonna show you the spoons. But uh, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to do a bunch of them. So that's what I'm doing instead of making spoons. And, uh, boy, your arm gets tired when you're swinging a hatchet and making spoons and stuff like that. I'll probably do that today anyways. Uh, got some apple over here. I'm going to work on some stuff there. But uh, I'm going to do 
do some holly triggers. Um, I'll do some now and I may let some season a little more. But uh, that's what I'm doing. So uh, don't worry about the world. Just uh, let's keep the peace and uh, everybody get along. The human race. And uh, we'll be fine, man. But uh, it's going to ask more fair ride. That's what we're doing. We take care. Yeah, here's some of the spoons. It's all from scrap maple. The nice long ones. That one, this one, and this one. Good for mountain house. And that's not a that's not a chip there. That's uh, spalting. But uh, this one's kind of funky. And it's a uh, nice, uh, well seasoned uh, apple right there. So let's mess around with that muscle. So take care. When you have small fair, right?